us creators who create the stop motion videos put a lot of work into these things. <laughs> Hey Sim friends, it's Darth Fem back with a quick video updating everyone on what is going on with my channel. Unfortunately, because I'm not at a thousand subs yet, I can't make any community posts, so I can't keep everyone in the loop, so this is the only way I can do that. But I thought it would be fun to make just a quick video of why it is so time consuming making a stop motion video for The Sims builds. Before I get to that, I have been working on probably the biggest build I've ever done. <laughs> because I've been so busy and I've had so much going on on the weekends, all the time that I would have dedicated to this build, it's just gone to other things. And unfortunately, it's probably going to take me probably another week. I really don't want to say that, but there's still so much left to do in this build. I, oh gosh, I want to talk about it so bad. I will give a little hint though. It has to do with hot springs. I'll just say that. But this build has so many little details that I'm really focused on and I want to make it perfect. So I feel like if I want to post bigger, more quality builds than I, what I've done in the past, then that means my videos unfortunately are going to be more spaced apart every two to three weeks. And it sucks because I really want to make my goal of a thousand just for the fact that I can keep people in the loop on what I'm doing. And I just didn't disappear and nothing is happening with my channel. I'm here and I'm getting things done, or at least I'm trying to. Oh, yeah. I, I mean, I don't know if any other stop motion video cr creators or even speed builders feel this way. They're working on a build so much to the point that they're absolutely sick of it. <laughs> and I'm, I'm really sick of this build. I just want it to be over. And recording it is just going to be like absolutely dreadful because there is so much in this build. Oh my gosh. Anyway, back to what I want to talk about. I was just, I kind of want to give like a little brief overview of why it takes so long to do these stop motion builds and how much goes into this because I feel like if you are just a viewer and, and you've never done a stop motion video before, I mean, watching the videos is really cool and it's one thing, but then you don't realize that us creators who create the stop motion videos put a lot of work into these things, like way more work than I think I put into my actual job. Now, I'm not saying that I'm a slacker. I love my job. My job is great and I do work hard with my job, but this is like a whole nother level of difficulty. <laughs> so I just wanted to like kind of show you guys a little bit of how I do it and what the process looks like. So here we go. So first, I'm going to start with videos. So there's two things that you use in a stop motion video, the pictures and the video clips to so transition to the pictures. So for instance, this is from my last build, actually. Here, you, as you can see, they're all in order. <laughs> uh, let's open this one up. Okay, so as you can see, I'm moving into the kitchen and they're like two second clips. And then at that point, once I stop, that's when I undo everything I deleted. So I put a piece of furniture back, take a picture. I put another piece of furniture back, I take a picture. I put another piece of furniture back and I take a picture. And then at that point, I'm now transitioning into the next scene. So that was a poor representation of what I'm trying to talk about because there's no furniture there. Let's go to the next one right here. So I took a picture of each thing that I placed there, and now I'm transitioning to the next video. Not sure if this is making any sense, but let's see. <laughs> so now I have all these videos, and then now I'm gonna move on to the pictures. So here are all the pictures. We, there's so many, and this was actually a pretty small build compared to some of the other builds I've done in the past. Every single picture. So I'm just gonna show you uh, one with furniture, because that's probably like the easiest. Okay, so here, here's the bathroom, right? So these are all pieces that I removed from the room. So what I do is, I, I'm sure every stop motion builder does something different, but I build everything first, outside, inside, everything. And then I deconstruct it and then put things back and take pictures of it. So here's the sink and then added a, a light, took a picture, added another light, took a picture. These are all just things I'm taking pictures of step by step. So as you can see, yeah, that is really time consuming. And now 
I'm going to show you videos all put together. So after I'm done doing the clips and taking the pictures, I put everything together in my editing software. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit here. So all these little ones here, these are all the pictures and these bigger ones are the videos. So we'll watch like a little scene right here. Pictures and then video. Pictures and then video. So the editing actually is not too time consuming. I've gotten it down pretty good. <laughs> when I first started editing, oh my gosh, it was such a nightmare. And sometimes there are the occasion, you'll see my earlier videos, I did it a lot. The videos, the little clips in between, they got either messed up or I didn't do it correctly and I just had to like jump. I actually think I did it in, in this, um, I made a mistake somewhere in here and I I'll point it out to you guys because it's like, it just bugs me. It makes me so mad <laughs> when that happens, but sometimes, you you know what happens and you don't even realize it and to go back you have to redo everything if you mess up one little clip that's it it's over <laughs> I think it was right here um, yeah it was right here see I had to just do another transition because the clip was missing I thought I was recording it but I didn't and it just got messed up so as you can see this is like the full video of all the clips all the pictures and then of course towards the end here I actually make several different videos because my computer's not the greatest but the editing software is very very slow or can be really slow when you have a ton of pictures and a ton of videos in it and then you add transitions to it it slows down so I actually do my video editing in parts and then I export them and then combine them all together and that's what I did here actually this is like the end where I do the recap and um, these are a whole bunch of different videos too and then I just exported it and just attached it to this one video so this is kind of just a glimpse into how the process works I was thinking maybe one day in the future I might make a little tutorial I think there is one out there I don't remember who it was by it's a lot of work and I hope that even the the, the smallest creators even with creators with just like a couple of subscribers or ones that are just starting out whose videos, you know, are still, you know, in the process of learning, like mine were, if you go back to my earlier videos, they're absolutely horrendous. And I think I should do like a reaction video one day because they're pretty funny. I thought at the time they were really good. I remember when I finished my first video. And by the way, like my recording software was a nightmare and my computer really wasn't that great at the time before I started working on fixing it. But I remember I showed my wife and of course she was like so supportive, but I think like deep down inside, she was probably like, this is pretty bad because it, it wasn't the greatest um if you go back to my very first video you'll see it's like very choppy and I mean I have to say though it's really not as bad as I feel like as it could have been so um but yeah it's basically why it takes so long because like I said you got to build the building first and then deconstruct it put everything back take a picture as you're doing it and record videos in between the transitions oh my gosh it's that's why, guys, any stop motion creator that you come across, even if they're really new, you know, give them a follow because we work really hard at these videos and it's it's very time consuming and it takes up a big chunk of our life. And I, uh, yeah, sometimes you just want to take your computer and chuck it across the room. <laughs> but yeah, that's basically it. I just wanted to pop in and make this quick little video to show you guys kind of the process in like a short version. And just to let you guys know, I do have something in the works praying by maybe the end of this week. I can get it done. I'm going to go work on more of it now. I have a lot left to do, but <sighs> I'm hoping I could get it done. So Thank you guys so much for tuning in and subscribing, and I will see you all next time with a stop motion video. Bye.